Welcome to the World Register Report. The World Register is an independent news source providing truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting of people, places, and events. Commentaries are also provided on selected stories from time to time. As reported by Reuters News Agency today, Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force will send their Izumu helicopter carrier through the South China Sea. Considered one of the world's most powerful navies in World War II, Japan's fleet operates as a self-defense force since the dissolution of the Imperial Japanese Navy. As China increases its military presence in the disputed South China Sea, the United States has maintained regular patrols to ensure freedom of navigation. The Izumo is the largest ship in the Japanese fleet and is scheduled to set sail from Japan in May. She will put into port at Singapore, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Sri Lanka. In July, the carrier will join the Malabar Naval Exercise with Indian and U.S. fleets in the Indian Ocean. Reuters News Agency reports today that U.S. President Donald Trump is planning to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping next month. Press Secretary Sean Spicer said planning is ongoing for a visit between President Trump and President Xi at a date to be determined. However, the Reuters news story stated that online media outlet Axios said the meeting will take place on April 6th through 7th at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida. Last month, Chinese State Councilor Yang Jiechi met with President Trump to discuss economic ties and security interests. Frequent topics during President Trump's campaign in 2016 included China's trade policies and their increasing military presence in the South China Sea. In a report by Reuters News Agency today, Turkey is considering diplomatic sanctions and punitive actions against the Netherlands. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan is seeking a referendum to increase his powers. The Netherlands have a large population of Turkish expatriates and prevented President Erdogan's ministers from campaigning in their country. President Erdogan has resorted to name-calling and referred to the Dutch government as German National Socialist remnants. Omar Selik, Turkey's Minister for EU Affairs, said, We will surely have sanctions against these latest actions by the Netherlands. We will answer them with these. That's it for now. Be sure to check out those links below, and as always, subscribe, like, and comment.